In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Lamy Ideos fountain pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this fountain pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Lamy Ideos fountain pen. This is one of Lamy's newest pens, and it's a pretty interesting one. It's designed by the EOS design team out of Austria. They, I think, are most known for designing furniture for a German company called Walter Knoll. This is the second pen that they've done for Lamy. They also did a ballpoint called the Econ. And I actually sell these at thepapermind.com. And for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Uh, this is a really cool ballpoint. It's called the Econ, and the design details in this are really nice. It's very simple, but it's very thoughtful at the same time. So we have this brushed stainless steel cylinder. And then for the grip, they just have these laser cutouts. It's really cool. And then the clip here, it's got an unusual attachment on just one side here. Really neat design here. I love this ballpoint, it's great. But anyway, going back here, when I first saw this pen, I, I was interested in it, but it wasn't like I've gotta have it. It's a strange pen, it's a more pricey pen too. I believe the retail might be like $140. I think the street price is $110, somewhere around there. And it's a steel nib pen. It's a very good looking pen, but the main kind of feature of this pen was the thing that kind of had me holding off on it. It sort of adds some strangeness to the pen, and that's the teardrop shape. The literature on this thing says that they took a circle and a triangle, and this was the shape they came up with, this teardrop shape. Walking through the pen, this is a all brass body with a palladium finish. It looks really nice. I love having this pen on my desk. It's very modern and simple looking, but it also has a really high quality look to it as well. It's just, I think it's very elegant. Now, the tops are flat. On the bottom here, it's slightly rounded, and I believe that's just for the cap. That's just so that you can post the cap back there. But it does stand up on the desk. On this side, I don't know, maybe. I guess not. Okay. The clip, you'll see, is mounted to the side because of this teardrop shape that runs the whole length of the pen, which is really interesting. But yeah, the clip is mounted off to the side. We have a Lamy logo here. And this is a big stainless steel spring-loaded clip. It says Germany underneath because of course all Lamy pens are made in Germany. It's a snap cap, pretty minimal seam there. And then here we have these two, I don't know what I'm gonna call them, bushings to hold onto the cap when you post it. Now when you post this cap, the pen becomes very long. In fact, I'm pretty certain that this is the longest pen in Lamy's lineup, when posted at least. It's very, very long. With the cap off, we can see we have a chrome grip section here, and then we also have the nib from the Lamy Ion. So they reuse that more rounded style nib here. Looks nice, it feels appropriate for this pen. The grip section, if you look here, this is actually a circle. So it terminates in a circle, but from the edge there, it comes back into that teardrop shape. So it feels sort of like a triangle grip with the ridge along the center here, and then the bottom is completely round. It's very comfortable. I really like this grip section a lot. I think it's probably even more friendly than the Lummy Safari or Nex M triangular grip section just because of that rounded bottom just gives you a little bit more room to rotate the pen as necessary. Snap cap, the way that this comes apart is you twist it and it only twists about a quarter turn 
and then it comes off. You can see there's little nubs here that go or slot that go into these slots here that allow you to lock down the pen. Um, this pen does come with Lummy's Z27 converter, so that is nice. I know on most of the pens that are in the sub hundred dollar price range, they don't come with a converter, but I do think it's appropriate for a pricier pen like this to come with it. So then snap that back on there. And I have this with a broad nib. The other thing, the usability part of this, because of this shape, you can't accidentally put it on any which way. It has to be exact or it won't go on. The same goes for when you're capping it. But I will say because of the, the taper, you know, if I put it on here like this, Nope, or a little, or if I'm just a little bit off, it will kind of round it back into shape there. We are at about 142 millimeters capped. Uncapped, right about 130 millimeters. And posted, I hope this ruler is long enough, it is. Oops. We are about 185 millimeters, so very long. Now, when it is posted, and I admit I write with this posted, it looks very long, it is very long, it is slightly top heavy, but this isn't such a heavy pen that I mind it. So even though I can feel that it is a little bit back weighted, it still feels really good and comfortable to me. I don't have any issues with posting it. I'm not gonna do the grip section just because it is that strange shape, but let me see what pens I can just show it next to so we just have sort of an idea here it is with a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. So it's a full-size pen, and just to show how long it is posted, again, <laughs> the Lamy is a pretty big pen with a very big cap, but because this doesn't post down very far, you can just see it is quite a long one. Okay, let's do the weight. And this is with the converter, I would say it's about half full right now. Looking at 30 grams, really not that heavy, especially for a brass bodied pen. It's not super thick, I would say. So even though it is brass and it's, you know, all metal, it doesn't have a crazy heavy feel. 20 grams. Yeah. So it's it's a very comfortable pen, even posted, even though it's long, it's quite a comfortable pen. And just, you know, compared to a heavy pen, this is a ST DuPont, I think D-line, their large pen. This is all brass, and this is 55 pounds, uh, grams rather. Uh, so really, it doesn't quite feel as heavy as a typical brass pen, even though it is brass, but the finish is really nice. I, I really enjoy this pen. Okay, let's do the writing sample. Doing the writing sample on a Papermind Mitsuishi bank paper notebook. These are really great with fountain pens, and for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. All right. Let's do it. So this is the Lamy Adios. This is abroad. And this is Urban Rouge. What is it called? Carubier? Something like that. some fast writing. Yeah, no performance issues here. I really don't have any <laughs> complaints about this pen. Flow is pretty much average, not super wet, not dry at all. Um, it's a stiff nib, you know, you're not going to get any flexibility. Well, I say that and then look at that. It's, yeah, it's pretty stiff, like most Lummy steel nibs are, but it's a very nice writer. I have no complaints about it. One thing I would say is that if you like these 
more rounded types. I think there are less nib grades available. But again, the nibs are also interchangeable with any of the standard Lummi Safari nibs or their gold nibs. The easiest way to remove these is just with like a piece of packing tape, stick it on the top and just pull straight and they come right off. But very easy to swap the nibs on these and the nibs are pretty affordable. Let's try reverse writing. It's a bit weird holding this upside down because of that teardrop shape. And it's definitely scratchier. I think we're gonna run. I mean, it is still doing it, so I guess it does do it, and it is definitely thinner. Yeah, it kind of does it. But anyway, really nice writing pen. So, what are my pros and cons for the Lummy Idios fountain pen? I really like the design of this fountain pen. It's really interesting. We have this strange teardrop shape, and then a clip off to the side. It's a very bizarre kind of shape. I find it to be very comfortable to write with. It looks really nice. It looks really modern. Pretty cool, I have to say. I've enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Originally, I bought this just because I'm a fan of the EOS design team. I have furniture by them, and I've been interested in some of the different things that they've designed. And so when I saw that they did a pen, I wanted it. But I could tell from looking at it that there was some definite strangeness there. The price point going into the cons, um, probably, I, I'll be surprised if this is like a really hot seller for Lamy. Um, the street price is like $111, $110, something like that. And it's a steel nib pen. We have a, a palladium finish and, you know, brass body and you know, the stainless steel, very robust stainless steel clip. But it's pretty expensive for a steel pen. I think, you know, you really have to like the design of this pen to be willing to pay that much because we're, you know, in gold nib territory here and this does not come with gold nib. Other cons, downsides to the teardrop shape are posting it. You kind of got to be careful because it only posts one specific way. You can't do any of this. It's got to be right there. And then when you do post it, it's very, very long. I personally write with this posted. It probably looks a little funny because it is so long, but you know, there is a little bit of a back weight there. It's not, not the end of the world, but definitely a very long pen when posted, which is definitely a downside. We also have, you know, that kind of triangular shape, shaped grip section, which goes into a kind of a circle at the end. Works well for me, very comfortable for me, but if you have maybe a more unusual type of grip, this might not work for you just because that shape does dictate kind of how you hold the pen. So that is pretty much it. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And until next time.